All right, so now we're going to go over here to Gainesville, point the nose towards Gainesville, and we're going to practice some turns. Okay, so that little uh, area right up there with all the buildings, that's going to be the airport. Okay, now in order to do a turn, we want to, a level turn, we want to check the horizon, and we want to make sure that we don't have uh, all the sky showing, but we want to make sure we don't have too much land showing, because that's going to be either climbing or a descending turn, okay? So if we turn to the left, we want to keep about that much, that's about 20 degrees, maybe 30 degrees of bank, okay? So right there, it's going to be a level turn. Okay, so as you can see, the horizon may cut through about right here on y'all's picture, and that's what you want to check, is where the horizon cuts through the instrument panel. If I climb like this, then the horizon is going to move further down, and we're going to be climbing. You see all the sky that we see? So, and it's indicating a climb. Okay, the same way as if we're turning and all of a sudden we see a whole bunch of land and the horizon and your picture moves all the way over here, then we're going to be descending. So we're going to go back to that kind of constant little area. So for about right there, that's going to be a level turn for me where the horizon cuts through. My side is over here. Your guys may be uh, over here just a little bit. Okay, so that's a level turn. All right, so we'll do one to the right. Now the horizon will switch to the other side. All right, so there's a level turn for me, about 20 degrees of bank. Okay, now if I pitch up a little bit too much, my horizon's gonna move down this way, the same with y'all's, and we're gonna, indicate, uh, we're gonna indicate a climb. We're gonna see all kinds of, of uh, sky blue, and that's definitely gonna, so that's gonna mean our nose is pitched up, so we're definitely climbing. The same way as if all of a sudden we start seeing a whole bunch of land and the horizon moves over to the left side, we're gonna be indicating a descent. And I can visually check that just by what the nose is doing. I don't need all this uh, instrumentation and stuff. And you'll be a lot better pilot if you just use the horizon outside instead of the instruments inside, because there's a little bit of lag. And I'll show you guys on that real quick. All right. So there's a, there's a level flight, okay? So watch this instrument. If I fly straight level just based off of this instrument, you'll see how bad the attitude the airplane wants to go. So it's showing I'm descending, okay? So I'm gonna pitch up. So you see how high the nose is. Oh, so now I'm doing a climb, so I'm gonna push the nose over. You see how, okay? So now the nose is going down like this. Well, up I'm descending, and what you do, this is kind of exaggerated, but you're just chasing the needle. Okay, well, now we're climbing, so we're just kind of going like that. So the nose of the airplane is just going constantly like that. But if I look outside, I'm just going to pitch back up to my constant level attitude, about that much horizon, and boom, we're back at uh, level flight. Just perfect. Okay, so it's a lot easier to look outside and make small adjustments by the horizon and your instrument panel. That's going to be on any airplane that you fly. Okay.